Hello everybody and welcome to this year's edition of the Yonex Denmark Open. We're glad to bid you welcome to six days of top class badminton here in Odense, Denmark. Starting off here on court number two with a mixed doubles in the qualifications tournament. With the young Danish couple, Theodore Johansson, Isabella Nilsson. They're up against Johanna Schertler and Johanna Goliszewski from Germany. Today we have a lot of qualification matches and later in the evening we will see some of the mixed double matches of the main event be played as well.
The German pair are ranked number 360 in the world, and the young Danish couple are not yet ranked together. Nice net play there from Isabella Nilsson. Theodore to finish it off quite well. Nice play there by the Danes. Having taken the lead, 8-3. Great variation from Theodore Johansson. It's always funny with these young pairs who haven't been ranked yet and how unimpressed they are in the way of playing against these international pairs. They just go in, do their thing and hope to have success with it. Right now, a bit surprising maybe, the Danes have taken the lead 11-6 and entered the interval leading. Oh, and on the court right next to us, Another Danish pair is battling here against a Chinese pair. And a very good one that is. It's Liu Chang and Yixin Bao. If the latter, the last name sound familiar, it's because that she has with other partners 
won several medals at super series level. So here we again see that the Chinese couple has taken the lead 11-10. The Danish young pair, Rikke Søby and Tal Christiansen, they're actually quite, quite good along. And doing that thing again, unimpressed. Let's see how well that goes. And now back here to court number two. The Germans are narrowing the Danes' leads. And the Danes are building their lead once again. 15-11 to Isabella Nilsson and Theodore Johansson. Oh. Just hit the net, that serve. And a good chance taken there by Theodore Johansson. Oh, that was a good rally there. Long one. And what do you know? Game point for the Danes. 2014. Uh, just stayed inside the lines there. Johanna's ball. And the Danes win the first game by a service mistake from Johannes Schuttler. Oh, what an unfortunate way to lose the game. Isabella Nilsson is only 18 years of age, actually. She's got the future ahead of her. And in fact, Theodore does as well. He's 21.
both of the Danes have had different partners in the mixed doubles category. Also, young players as well. Quite typical for players of that age. Shuffling a little bit between constellations, sometimes trying to find a good one that's worth building on. This might look like something worth building on. And here we commence with the second game. A flick serve from Isabella. Pressure there from Isabella on the net. Just outside the line from the Danes. Now it seems as if the Germans are getting away. Zero Johansson narrowing the lead a little bit with that win. Germans are uh, a bit older than their Danish opponents. Johanna Goliszewski is 27 years old. And her male partner, Johanna Schuttler, is 29 years of age. You must believe that they have a bit more routine than the Danes. Which some might say is reflected in the way the game is progressing right now. With the Germans getting away. serve and a quick rally sends the Germans leading 11-4 and now interval They seem eager, the two Danes. 
here at the coaching session. Some might argue that the gap between the two pairs here is that big because of some of the mistakes the Danish cobbles have made. At least that's what they think, probably. Service is short. Point for the Danes. And that just hit the net. Too easy point for the Danes. During this live stream, you have the possibility of asking questions regarding the players or the rules or the tournament in general. You can uh, enter our Facebook page as facebook.com forward slash badminton DK. We'll try to answer them as well as we can. Match is quite hectic at the moment. Not so many long rallies. Patient play there by the Germans, awaiting their chance and striking. A lucky stroke there by Theodor Johansson, that counts as well. I 
And now game point for the Germans. And they got their first one right there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a short break before we commence with the third and final game. Here have the first match on court number two, the Yonix den Magoben 2013. Now the question is, can the Danes make a comeback here or have the Germans found their way to beat the two young Danes here? Just hit the line there from Johannes Schuttler. The first point is German. Not the best start for the Danes here. They have to make sure that they don't get too far behind. A lucky point there for the Danes, only trailing by a single point now. And there's the equalizer. Four, four.
a rare long rally. The initiative going backwards and onwards between the two pairs. With the Danes winning it. And they're quickly on to the next rally. A quick one once again. Seems they're having a bit of a score war going on there. And I think it's positive for the young Danes that they're not trailing that much. It's often a tendency, tendency, especially among the younger pairs, that if they have lost the second game after having won the first, they usually, or not usually, they sometimes start the third game not so well. But here this time, they're actually hanging on to the Germans, still believing in their chance. are on this specific match right now seeing the other matches in this first round have all been played and the Germans enter the interval with a lead 11-8 and on to the court comes their two coaches Clever move there from the young Dane. Just switching the ball after having made an unfortunate mistake. And what do you know? It worked. 9 12, and the Danes, they have got to hang on to the Germans now. Call number one, men's this singles initial phase from India. After the press of switched Tua. sides in the third game, and it's always very crucial. From Estonia,
Hold number three, men's singles from Germany, Lisa Lange. And he's facing from Denmark, Mia Magnussen. Wisely put a ball there. Great variation from the backcourt. Fifteen ten. Germans look like the most likely winner of the match right now. Just outside the line. I think this is it for Isabella Nilsson and Theodore Johansson. If they are to have a chance of winning this match. A lot of flick serve from the Danish pair. Some might argue that they're giving away the initiative bit too much. That's a great finish from Theodore Johansson. Actually, Quite difficult way of hitting the ball right there. Requires a great deal of technical skills in order to pull that off. With the ball coming so fast, the way you have to hit the ball. Now they actually are playing their chance here in the end. Only trailing by three points. 15-18. Calm play from Isabella Nielsen, but unfortunate in the end. And now, game and match point for Johanna Schüttler and Johanna Goliszewski of Germany. And outside the line for the young Danes. They look disappointed. The Germans look Happy, a bit relieved actually.
And now they're off to play Indonesian Gideon Marcus Fernaldi and Rishki Amelia Pradipta. They are seeded four in the qualification tournament in a match that will be played later in the afternoon. And here between this match and the next one, and men's singles, let's have some commercials. to be massaged by Heavenly King? No problem. Let me take you to the highest level of massage indulgence. Osum U Infinity, the world's first massage chair that lets you download new massage programs like the CEO, the Tai Tai, and my Heavenly King massage. New massage downloads to satisfy the whole family. Amazing? So what are you waiting for? New massage downloads for endless pleasure. Osum U Infinity. Osum. Everybody and welcome back here at the Yonix Denmark Open 2013. We've just experienced a game of mixed doubles here on court number two. Johanna Schertler and Johanna Goliszewski just beat Isabella Nilsson and Theodor Johansson of Denmark in a three game match. Now we're off to a men's singles between Indian and Ampere.